What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So this product is super cool. What I discovered is an HDMI ARC audio extractor and I'm gonna share it with you guys. I've seen these things for a couple of weeks now. They, go on, you know, they sell for like $20, $25 and what you're gonna essentially be able to do with these is add HDMI ARC to your existing inexpensive AVR, stereo amp, preamp, or tube amplifier and give it some modern features. Now, just to be clear, this product is not gonna pass through like a full Dolby, DTS, or Atmos signal. It's gonna convert the signal from ARC into two-channel audio. So these are for my guys that got, you know, maybe you bought something like a Yamaha RS202, you got a pair of Sony SSCS5 speakers, and you're trying to use your stereo for TV functionality also. You know, maybe you wanna get some better dialogue clarity, or maybe when you're playing video games, you want it to sound just a little bit bigger and fuller, but something like that Yamaha RS202, it doesn't have any digital input, so you cannot connect it to a TV unless your TV has analog outputs, which most TVs made in the last three or four years do not have analog outputs. Even five years ago, it was not very common, so here you go. This product's gonna save your butt. They sell for about 20 to $25 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description to the one I bought. Um, this is not an affiliate link, by, so by all means, if you see one that you know you like the aesthetics more or something, or a cheaper one, buy whichever one you want. Well, I, I'd prefer you just like the video if you found it helpful, that'll help more people see it. You, you guys know the drill, right? So, super simple setup. It does take USB 5 volt, so, any, you know, micro USB cable with a, uh, you know, kind of like any power block will get the job done. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? You got an old iPhone block laying around, an old Android cell phone block laying around, and any like USB 80 micro USB cable. That's all it needs for power. And then an HDMI cable from the back of your TV's ARC port into this unit and RCA cables out into the input of your amplifier. You set your amplifier to that input, and now your TV remote will control the volume, super convenient. Now, some of you have amplifiers that maybe don't have HDMI ARC, but they do have optical input. Should you use that instead? No, I'd rather use this still, because if you use the optical input, you still have to use two remote controls. You're gonna have to use your stereo's remote to control the volume, and your TV's remote for all your TV functions. With the HDMI audio extractor, you can use your TV's remote for all your TV functions and to control the volume on your amplifier. So super convenient stuff, I love it. I think it's super easy. Now, let's talk about sound quality real quick because this is a this is a hi-fi channel. We care about sound quality here. Now, those of you that watch all my videos will remember I made a video about using the shit Modi DAC uh, for TV use and I said it was fantastic, it was a huge upgrade. Previous to that, I was using an inexpensive $20 DAC, and once I added the shit DAC instead, even my TV shows, my anime, my video games, bigger sound stage, even clearer dialogue intelligibility, better imaging, all those things, it was just so much better. So it's the same thing here. This is a $20, $25 DAC essentially, that's gonna convert HDMI ARC into two-channel analog. So if you've got a sound system, say under 2,500 bucks, I think you'll be just fine with something like this for TV use, Hulu, Netflix, Crunchyroll, video games, stuff like that. If your system's over 2,500 bucks and you've got more resolving gear and you're like, I, I want something a little bit better, unfortunately, I don't know of any high-end version of this. So you're gonna have to go to something like the Shit Modi and use optical out from your TV, optical into the Shit Modi, RCA out to your integrated amp, and you will still have to use two remote controls, one for your TV's adjustments and the amplifier's remote control for volume. So. I hope that helps you guys. At the end of the day, all this video came down to was curiosity. I saw these things, I wondered if they worked, so I, you know, I bit the bullet and I bought one. It was only about $20, and it works. Works, super simple, super easy. So rejoice if you've got a, a you know, a, a vintage, uh, you know, stereo amp that you love and you just wanna connect it to your TV somehow without using two, three, four different remote controls. Here you go, man, 20, 25 bucks, we'll get it done. And again, that's whether you got a tube amp, a preamp, inexpensive AVR, inexpensive stereo amp, you name it, you can use this bad boy. So hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you did, please leave a thumbs up. Helps the algorithm, blah, blah, blah. Until next time, later.